folks, this is a really cool car. Uh, our friends over at Carchaeology uh, took this video right after this car came out of the backyard down in uh, Arizona, along with four other cars. You see one there in the background, that Charger 500. Believe it or not, that car was in the back uh, backyard, as was a um, Shelby Mustang, another Charger RT, uh, and a GTX 446 barrel. But this car is the one I really want to talk about. <laughs> Take a look at this. This is an FE5 Rally Red 71 Challenger RT. And you can see already on the hood, it's a 426 Hemi. They made 58 426 Hemis in a 71 Challenger RT with a four speed. This is one of those cars. Now, when you see cars like this, usually you see them completely restored or you see a mid restoration. Very rarely do you see one right out of the barn, right out of the backyard. That paint that you're looking at, it's amazing. Look at that. That is original single stage paint where you can see the primer underneath it. Uh, I was told that's a picture of the car setting in the guy's driveway uh, many years ago. So you got your quarter scallops on there. It's FE5 Rally Red, flip top gas cap. Uh, black longitudinal stripes look like it was a black vinyl top car at one time. This is just so remarkable when you you see you see original cars. There's no question that they're out there, and, and you see them cars like this with original paint on them. We've got a lot, you know, that has some in it, but they're not Hemi cars. They're not the ultimate. They're not the 50 foot shark that everybody's heard about but nobody's seen. This is one of those cars. The uh, now the front moldings. The molding that goes on the hood that you see and the fender. I believe that code is M28, Michael 28. And that represents, it's called a peripheral molding. It goes, like I say, on the front edge of the hood and the front edge of the fenders. Really, really neat option. Um, I'll be anxious to see the fender tag to see if it is a dual, out, uh, dual chrome racing mirror. There's a pistol grip, console shift, Rally instrument cluster, but that's standard with all with all Charger RTs. Look at there's a little spot where they did some polishing. Guy does a great job over there at Carchaeology. He just takes his phone out and goes around and films these things. So it's just we're really lucky to be able to be working with him on these cars. <clears throat> so as I said, when you're talking about a car that they've only built. 58 of okay this has the back edge of hood moldings on it if you look carefully and the back edge of fender moldings so that means they're probably i can't see it look at the front bumper i, I don't know if you saw that but it's got a uh, a tow guard a tow hitch on it okay here we go there it is 426 cubic inches a fire breathing nightmare rated at 425 horsepower the first thing that jumps out at me, there's a lot under there that's original, but that air cleaner definitely isn't. That's Roadrunner stuff, the Coyote Duster. The, the air cleaner body is right because this is not a shaker car. Now, when you see the fender tag here in a minute, you'll see it's a J54 sport hood car. Um, the, uh, if it was a Cuda and you had a Hemi, I guarantee you, you got a shaker. That was the way it was. But on a Challenger, you could get the sport hood. That was standard. And the N96 was optional. But get up in here and take a look. At I'm, I'm just going to pause that right there. Okay. Sorry, I'm just pausing it. Look at the fender tags. There are actually three of them. There's the top one that you can see that's filled with codes. The one on the right-hand side with the R26, that's AM, FM, cassette. And underneath it, you see a third one. If that was out and exposed, it would say Hemi Fender. Take your time and learn those codes because there is something on this that has been changed on the car on the outside that isn't warranted uh, on the fender tag. And it's the top row, just past the middle, you'll see N97 and N98. That's a noise reduction package. This car should not have through the pan exhaust tips. It should have been turned downs because of the noise reduction package. But you guys can go back and look at that. If you want to know how to decode these, watch our autopsy reports that I'm doing every week on uh, on our Facebook page, and you'll learn all these codes over a period of time. Okay, here we go. Just fascinating to me to see something like that out here. It's just there's the fender tag uh, that says Hemi Fender. So you can see the spark plug wires have been changed on upper radiator hose have been changed. But look at how solid the car is. There's the old five slot uh, mag wheels. Look at how solid it is. Now you got some some rust around the back window. Anybody that's done an E body knows that, or a B body for that matter, knows that that's pretty common stuff. 
What I love, now see there's the through the pan exhaust in the back, that is not coded for that, but I don't blame the guy for putting it on there. But the rust on this car is very minimal. It's a super solid car. So I understand that the car has been sold. I understand that it is already in the possession of the new owner. And whoever it is that bought it just made whatever they had to pay. Sooner or later, it's gonna be worth that amount of money. This is a fantastic car, you guys. One more shot at the 426 Hemi. There it is. Pause that screen and take a look at it. This is a great car. Hey, thanks everybody. This was fun for me to be able to see this car in its raw form, so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Yeah,